Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for this adorable holiday snowflake dishcloth. This dishcloth was made to resemble a snowflake in the center and add a little bit of Christmas colors around the snowflake to create a circular dishcloth. So this is just a fun pattern for the holidays. You can make these in different colors around the snowflake. And I always like to tell everybody, these make a wonderful gift. Make like a set of three, maybe all the same color, maybe in different colors, red, green, maybe blue, and then put them in a gift bag with a small bottle of dish soap. And it just makes a wonderful gift for family, friends, coworkers, or even for yourself. So I hope you enjoy the pattern. I have three different snowflake dishcloths to show you today in this video. And this first one is the white snowflake with the red outside border. The second snowflake dishcloth I made using a green outside border. And the third snowflake dishcloth I made with a blue outside border. So a lot of times we like those blue and white snowflake patterns. So I thought I'd throw that in as well. So let me grab all the colors and I'll go over what colors I used. Now for this dishcloth today, I used the Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton. It comes in a 3.5 ounce, 100 gram, 186 yards, 170 meters skein. It's classified as a number four medium weight yarn, and it is 100% mercerized cotton. Now this yarn is washable and dryable, so very easy to take care of those dishcloths. And I'm using color red. This is color number 113B and you're going to need about one ounce of white and one ounce of the color on the outside you want to put around for your border. The green dishcloth I made using color 172H grass again in the 24-7 cotton. And the blue, I do not have the label because I only had enough of this blue to make this dishcloth. This was color 761-1071 sky blue. So again, you can see all different colorways. So again, for this pattern today, you're going to need one ounce of white and one ounce of whatever color you want to use to go around your snowflake. You're also going to need a size G6 or four millimeter crochet hook. Now our dishcloth measures nine inches from the widest point across to the widest point. So just a really nice size for doing the dishes. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get our dishcloth started. To begin our project, I already have my white attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn. Now because I have a white table and I'm using white yarn, I'm using a blue backer board so you can see my stitches better. We're going to begin and we're going to chain five. Yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, that creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. That's one, two, three, four and five. We're going to skip the first four chains into the last chain or the fifth chain from hook. Insert your hook and slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. And it just creates a ring. And we're going to be working our stitches into the center of the ring. So now we're ready to begin round one, and when I work round one, I'm going to hold my yarn left over from joining right against my work and work right over top of it. To begin round one, we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. The beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. We're going to work two double crochet back into the center of the ring. To make a double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert from front to back through the center of the ring, yarn over, and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet. 
you're going to double crochet back into the center of the ring and then you're going to chain two one and two now we're ready to begin our repeat we're going to work three double crochet into the center of the ring and then chain two and we're going to do that a total of five times around yarn over the hook insert into the center of the ring and work three double crochet one two and three you're going to chain two that is one of five you're going to yarn over insert into the center of the ring work three double crochet one two and three you're going to chain two that is two of five so go ahead and continue and work three double crochet into the center of the ring and chain two three more times and I'll meet you at the end of round one I'm over at the end of round one we worked a chain three which counted as the first double crochet and then two double crochet into the ring and chain two and then you've done the repeat of three double crochet and chain two five times around so you're ending with the chain two and now we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three count up one two three insert into the top of that chain and slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook round one is finished so now for round two we're going to skip this joining stitch and we're going to slip stitch in each of the next two double crochet stitches insert into the top of the next stitch slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook insert into the next stitch slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook now we're going to slip stitch into the next chain two space insert into the chain two space and slip stitch through the chain two space and through the loop on your hook so we want to begin the round in the chain two space so we're going to start and we're going to chain three one two and three our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet we're going to work two double crochet a chain two and three double crochet back into that same chain two space yarn over insert into the chain two space work two double crochet one and two you're going to chain two one two and then work three more double crochet back into that same chain two space one two and three so again we started with the chain three which counts as the first double crochet then work two double crochet chain two and three double crochet all into that first chain two space so now we're going to work three double crochet a chain two and three double crochet in each chain two space around so let's begin you're going to yarn over you're going to skip the next three stitches into the next chain two space work three double crochet one two and three you're going to chain two yarn over insert back into that chain two space work three double crochet one two and 
and three. And that is the end of the repeat. Again, we're working three double crochet, a chain two, and three double crochet in each chain two space around. I'll show you one more time. Yarn over, skip the next three stitches, insert into the next chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain two. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue and work three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet in each chain one space around, and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. This is what your work should look like. You should have three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet in each chain two space around. So now we're going to join. We're going to come up to the top of the beginning chain three, count up one, two, three, insert into the top of that chain, and slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So now we're ready to begin round three. So we want to slip stitch over to the chain two space. That's where I like to start my round. We're going to skip the joining stitch, insert into the next double crochet under the top two loops, and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Slip stitch into the next stitch, and then slip stitch into the chain two space. Now we're ready to begin round three. We're going to begin and chain three. One, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. We're going to work two more double crochet back into that same beginning chain two space. One, and two. You're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Back into that same chain two space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So when you look at your work, you have a beginning chain three, which counts as the first double crochet, two double crochet, a chain three, and three double crochet all into that first chain two space. Now we're going to chain two, one, and two. We're going to skip the next three double crochet, and we're going to slip stitch between the skip three stitches and that next stitch, right into that big space. Insert into that space and slip stitch through that space and through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain two, and then you're going to skip the next three stitches. We're going to start our repeat into the next chain two space. So let's begin the repeat, and again, if you need help, then just click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and you work that around. You're going to yarn over, insert into that next chain two space, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain three. Yarn over the hook, insert back into that same chain two space, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. 
So when you look at your work, you're going to have three double crochet, a chain three, and three double crochet into that chain two space. You're going to chain two, one, and two. You're going to skip the next three double crochet, and you're going to slip stitch right into this big opening, insert into that space, yarn over, pull through that space, and pull through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain two, one, and two, and you're going to skip the next three stitches, and you're going to start your repeat into the next chain two space. So let's do the repeat one more time. You're going to yarn over, you're going to go into the next chain two space and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain three. Yarn over, insert into that same chain two space and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So again, when you look at your work, you're going to have three double crochet, a chain three, and three double crochet into that chain two space. You're going to chain two, you're going to skip the next three stitches and slip stitch into that space between the skip three stitches and the next stitch right into that opening. Yarn over, pull back through that space and pull through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain two. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work three double crochet, chain three and three double crochet into the next chain two space. You're going to chain two, you're going to skip the next three stitches and slip stitch into that space between the skip three stitches and the next stitch. Then you're going to chain two and that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue and work the repeat around and I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three and we ended with our chain two. So now we're going to go up and join into the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three. Insert into the top of that chain. Yarn over and pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. Now when you look at your work, it almost looks like a star. So this is really cute also if you wanted to do something special like a Christmas ornament, you can slip stitch up to the chain 3 space and then make a hanging loop, maybe chain 10 or 15, and then slip stitch back in here. And what's really nice is if you spray this with Elmer's glue and a little bit of water, it stiffens it up. And while while it's wet, maybe put some glitter on it. You can make some fantastic little glitter stars to hang on your tree. And when you add that Elmer's glue, it dries clear and it makes them harder and they just look so pretty. What a wonderful way to decorate a tree for the holiday. So just another idea of what you can do with some of these patterns. So now we're ready to begin round four. So we're going to skip the beginning stitch. We're going to slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. Insert under the top two loops of that next stitch and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next chain three space. Insert into the chain three space, yarn over, pull back through that space and through the loop on your hook. So now we're ready to begin round four and we're going to start with a chain one. We're going to work a two half double crochet cluster. So we're going to yarn over, insert under the chain three space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert back underneath and around that chain three space, 
yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. Your two half double crochet cluster is made. So now we're going to work a chain four and a two half double crochet cluster back into this chain three space a total of three more times. So let's begin. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Grab that chain four and just pull it back. Now we're going to make a two half double crochet cluster into the chain three space, yarn over, insert underneath the chain three space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert underneath and around the chain three space, yarn over and pull back through. You have a total of five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. That is one of the three sets. So just pull that cluster over. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to work a half double crochet cluster back into that chain three space. Yarn over, insert underneath that chain three space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops. Yarn over, insert back underneath that chain three space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. Your second set is made of the three. So I'm just going to pull that cluster over and we need to do that one more time. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Just grab that chain four, move it out of your way, and then work a two half double crochet cluster back into that space. Yarn over, insert into that space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook your two half double crochet cluster is made. And you're just working two half double crochet together to make those clusters. So when you look at your work, you're going to see that we started with a two half double crochet cluster, and then we chain four and worked a two half double crochet cluster three times. That's one, two, and three. So now we're going to chain two, one, and two. We're going to skip the next three double crochet and we're going to slip stitch into this next chain two space. Insert into the chain two space, yarn over, pull back through that space, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. You're going to skip that next slip stitch and you're going to slip stitch into the next chain two space. Insert underneath the chain two space, yarn over, pull through that space and pull through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain two. You're going to skip the next three double crochet and we're going to start our repeat into the next chain three space. So again, if you need help, click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and you repeat that around. So let's begin the repeat again. Yarn over, insert underneath the chain three space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops. Yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through all five loops on the hook. Now we're going to chain four and work a two half double crochet cluster back into the chain three space a total of three times. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Into the chain three space, work a two half double crochet cluster. 
yarn over, insert into that space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, insert back into that same space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops, yarn over and pull through all five loops on the hook. That is one set of three. I'm just going to move those stitches over. You're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Back into that same space, you're going to work a two half double crochet cluster. Yarn over, insert back into that space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops. Yarn over, insert back into that space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. Your two half double crochet cluster is made and that is the second set of three. So I'm just going to pull those stitches over and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. So back into that same space we're going to work a two half double crochet cluster. Yarn over, insert back into that space, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops. Yarn over, insert back into that space, yarn over and pull through. You have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And that is the third set of three. You're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to skip the next three double crochet and you're going to slip stitch into this next chain two space. Insert underneath the chain two space, yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook. Now you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. You're going to skip that next slip stitch and you're going to slip stitch into the next chain two space. Insert under the chain two space, yarn over and pull through that space and through the loop on your hook. Now you're going to chain two. One and two. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see how your pattern is forming where you're making those ends of your snowflakes. So now go ahead and continue. Click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat where you're starting into the chain three space and you're going to work a two half double crochet cluster and then you're going to chain four and work a two half double crochet cluster three times into that same space. You're going to chain two and then skip the next three double crochet and slip stitch into that next chain two space. You're going to chain four, skip that next slip stitch and slip stitch into the next chain two space. Chain two, skip the next three stitches and then start all over again in your chain three space. So again, if you need additional help, just click back on the video, repeat from where I say this is the start of the repeat until I say this is the end of the repeat, repeat that around to the end of round four and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of round four. This is what our work should look like. We ended with the chain two. To join the round, we're going to come up and slip stitch into the top of that beginning half double crochet cluster. Insert under the top two loops of that stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. So round four is finished and now we're ready to begin round five. So I'm changing color and I'm using my red and I already have it attached to my hook. We're going back up to where we fastened off and we're going to join in that first chain four space. Insert underneath the chain four space, yarn over, pull through that space and then pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to chain one. You're going to single crochet back into that same space. Insert underneath the chain four space, yarn over and pull through. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a single crochet. I'm going to slide these stitches over to the center. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. 
and then we're going to single crochet back into that same chain four space. You're going to chain one. We're going to skip this next chain two space and we're going to work into the next chain four space. We're going to work two triple, a chain three, and two triple or treble, however you pronounce it. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into that next chain four space, yarn over and pull through that space. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a triple crochet. You need to make one more triple back into that same space. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and then work two more triple back into that same chain four space. One, and two. And when you look at your work, you can see you have two triple, a chain three, and two triple right into that center chain four space. You're going to have a chain two space on each side. You're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next chain two space and we're going to start our next repeat into the next chain four space and we're going to repeat what we just done. So our repeat begins in the next chain four space and again we're just going to repeat what we just done. So if you need help this is where you're going to click back on the video where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat and then repeat that around to the end of round five. So let's begin. You're going to insert into that next chain four space, work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet back into that same space. You're going to chain one, single crochet into the next chain four space, chain three, and then single crochet back into that same chain four space. You're going to chain one. Into the next chain four space, work a single crochet, chain three, and then single crochet back into that same chain four space. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next chain two space and into the next chain four space, you're going to work two triple crochet, one, and two. You're going to chain three. Back into the same chain four space, you're going to work two triple crochet. One, and two. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip that next chain two space, and then you're going to start your repeat into the very next chain four space. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video. So go ahead and repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five. This is what your dishcloth should look like. It may have a little ruffle to it. That is fine. The next round will get rid of that ruffle. So when you're over at the end of the round, you end with your two triple, a chain three, and two triple in that last chain four space, and a chain one. Now we're going to go up and join right into the top of that beginning single crochet. Now right here you're going to see this little bit of yarn where we joined our yarn and our beginning chain one. You want to go over and go underneath that beginning single crochet stitch. Insert under the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. 
round five is finished and I'm just going to hand press it with my hand and you can see how it lays flat. So now we're ready to begin round six. For round six we're going to skip our joining single crochet and we're going to slip stitch into this next chain three space. Yarn over, pull through that space and pull through the loop on your hook. We're going to begin the round and we're going to chain one. You're going to single crochet back into that chain three space, chain three, and then single crochet back into that same space. Next, we're going to work three double crochet, a chain three, and three double crochet into the next chain three space. Yarn over, insert into the next chain three space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Back into that same chain three space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So now we're going to start our repeat and we're just going to repeat what we just done. So let's begin into the next chain three space, work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet back into that chain three space. Into the next chain three space, we're going to work three double crochet, a chain three, and three double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert into the next chain three space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain three. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. And you can see how the pattern is forming. We'll go ahead and continue in the next chain three space, work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet into that chain three space. Then in the next chain three space, you're going to work three double crochet, a chain three, and three double crochet into the center of the next chain three space. So if you need additional help, just click back on the video, repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six. This is what your dishcloth should look like and now we're getting ready to join. So you can see we ended with our three double crochet shell stitch into the last chain three space. And now we're going to come over and we're going to join right into the top of that beginning single crochet. Insert under the top two loops and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Now, when you look at your dishcloth, you may have a wrinkle or two in your dishcloth. And if you hand press it and just stretch it, it lays flat. So now we have one more round to go. So for round seven, we're just going to repeat what we've done in round six. So let's go up and get started. You're going to skip the joining single crochet. You're going to insert right into the next chain three space and slip stitch into that space. You're going to chain one, insert back into that chain three space, work a single crochet, chain three, and then single crochet back into that same chain three space. Yarn over into the next chain three space, work three double crochet, one, two, 
and three. You're going to chain three. Yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. Into the next chain three space, work a single crochet, chain three, and then single crochet back into that chain three space. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next chain three space, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain three, yarn over, insert back into that same chain three space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work a single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the center of the next chain three space. And then you're going to work three double crochet, a chain three, and three double crochet into the next chain three space. You're going to repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. This is what your dishcloth should look like. And now we're ready to join. So I ended my repeat with the three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet into that last shell stitch. And now we're just going to go up and join into the top of that beginning single crochet. Insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on your hook. So round seven is finished. I'm just going to fasten off my red. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, pull down and it creates a secure knot. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in my ends and I'll be back and show you the finished dishcloth. I'm back. My dishcloth is finished. This is what it looks like. This is the right side and when you turn it over on the back all my ends are weaved in. So our dishcloth is finished and I just had a really good time making this dishcloth. It's so nice when we can make those special items for our family, friends, and co-workers or even ourselves for the holidays. So remember you can get creative with your color. You can make it in red or maybe you would prefer green. Or how about that blue one? So thank you everybody for stopping by today. I hope this video has got you inspired to start some of those Christmas crochet projects. So until next time, happy crocheting everyone.